Dr. Frederick Thompson from Copenhagen, Denmark. I'm a PhD student with, uh, who specially focuses on low-risk prostate cancer uh, and especially active surveillance. The main uh, problem with uh, prostate cancer these years is the overdiagnosis and subsequently overtreatment in this patient group. Active surveillance has been introduced as a means to reduce the overtreatment without compensating the long-term follow-up, especially cancer-specific survival. Um, so far, there are three uh, criteria that have been used for active surveillance, rebiopsy, PSA kinetics, and digital rectal examination with uh, an increased uh, clinical tumor stage. Our focus in our, in the focus in our group has especially been around PSA doping time so far, and we have shown that there are considerably uh, limits of uh, this progression criteria in active surveillance strategies, most likely due to the low uh, prostate cancer volume in the, in, in the prostate, uh, which means that the fluctuations of the B9 prostatic tissue will cause disturbances uh, in, in the actual um, doubling time calculation. Where we presented a study uh, at the EAU this year where we showed that the calculated doubling times has a wide variety of um, and the confidence limits of the calculated doubling times uh, are, are very wide and up to 73% of patients could have been misclassified uh, into other risk groups. And therefore, we consider the, the doubling time uh, as a progression criteria. Uh, we question the adopting time as a progression criteria in this uh, setting. Thank you.